Hey everybody, I thought I'd bring you a goat update. There have been some changes. They're good changes, nothing. We have no problems with the goats at all. They're doing great, they're healthy. And um, Pilot has been relocated. Pilot is our buck. And he is now in with Nala, who is already pregnant with him. So this is his new hangout, which he does not like yet. Because he misses his mummy time. I don't get over to this pasture as much as I do the other one. Because the other one's closer to the house. So I tend to stop in there every time I'm doing something. This one's a little more out of my way. He misses his mummy. But he's in here with Nala. And Nala's not due till May. So we figured this is a good setup to keep him separate from the Oreo. Who's already delivered. And cannot be mated again for quite a while. So he needs to stay away from her and he was showing way too much interest in her So we were worried he was going to try and breed her Within two weeks after birth and that was just way too soon. So I mean way way too soon So he's over here. He's got a companion and I believe in about two and a half months He'll have another companion which will be snickerdoodle because we we are talking of keeping him and um he will go in to what we'll call the buck pen, which will be wherever this is. So, and right now, let's do a, a little quick look here. This has been one of the biggest patches we've given them. And you see everything that's been knocked down? They've eaten all this down. Now, Jim comes in, he pulls it down, and we're going to actually take it and chip it all up. But that's just some of it. Hi, Nala. Don't get stuck on the fence, baby. Nala likes attention. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's one of the updates is they're doing really, really good here. We did lose a pine tree. We don't know how or why, but we've had some good, strong winds. So it probably just had a weak root system and it is down. And um, we'll just slowly be pulling this brush out, which clears it so it looks more open like this. We'll actually pass this patch. This patch still has to be cut to the ground. But you see the one over by the car, how clear that is? That's our goal to do at least a couple more acres that way. And we'll continue with the pines because the pines give us shade. And um, gives the wildlife like birds and stuff a place to nest. And I don't know if we'll ever get that far back, but we'll see. Time will tell. Now, let's go over to the other goat pen. Let's see if I can weave my way through here. We did go get more hay. We got two. They're a thousand pound rolls each. So there's 2,000 pounds of hay here to get us through the rest of winter. Which guys, I'm out in a tank top in Capri's today. It is not cold here at all. In fact, it's 75 degrees or even a little higher. Chickens are all doing wonderful. We may have lost some fruit trees to the cold. Now these trees were sold up in this region. So it's kind of disappointing that they died, which means Walmart sold us trees that didn't belong in this um, zoning for the freeze levels that we get. There's my little rooster. He seems to like to follow me around. That's little Roo. He will be the one we end up keeping because we know exactly what he is. He's a production Rhode Island Red. And he'll be good breeding stock. Even though none of my other chickens are Rhode Island Reds. The combination should give us some really good eggs. And here comes the crew. Hi guys. See, here comes Mama. Mama's doing wonderful. She's really a really awesome mother. She takes wonderful care of him. Say, I'm a good mama. And then here's Snickerdoodle. You're going to notice something different on Snickerdoodle. You see his head, guys? We dehorned him yesterday. And you see, he's not even mad at us for doing it. Say, little buddy. Yeah. Poor little man. Say, poor little man. Say that hurt. Yeah, but it had to be done. And the reason we really decided to do it was because I had an injury from Bella just this past week 
from her horns. She almost gouged me in one of my breasts. And let me tell you, you want to feel something painful? That hurt. So horns are going, except for the two that have horns. Now when Latte delivers, which is for another two months, and as you can see, she's getting pretty round on that right side. So she's filling out really nicely. And there's Miss Bella. Bella got moved over here because she, we feel she's just not up to par for breeding. She is a year old now, but she is tiny, and I think she needs to put some weight on. So she's in here with all the girls. It took a few times. I shouldn't say a few times. It took at least three days for them to even want her anywhere near them. They were very aggressive with her, and we just had to let them work it out. They don't have horns. So it wasn't like they could hurt her. She stood her ground, I can tell you that, for a little tiny goat like that. She stood her ground against these big girls. And little guy, Snickerdoodle, he loves her. He loves her because she's young and she runs and she plays. He likes that. He wants a playmate. So I can tell you, you can tell he's Pilot's son. He's got a lot of the behavioral traits already of his daddy. So, and he's starting to taste things, like pine needles seem to be one of his favorite things, and you can see there's plenty of pine needles here. And he shows a huge interest in the grain when we grain the girls at night. We give them grain before we call it a night outside. And then we actually take him and Mama and put them in their pen by themselves yet. But this is going to be the last week because we feel, one, he's big enough now that if someone tries to lay on him, he's going to be screaming bloody terror. So, our biggest concern was somebody laying on him and hurting him. So now that he's getting older and he's definitely getting heavier, taller, longer, but he's really not very vocal. He was yesterday when we disbutted him, but he's spoiled, guys. I'm going to have to do a video with just him and us. We sit in here at least one to two times a day handling him, and he will come and beg to lay on your lap. That's how bad he is already. If we do not keep him, somebody will be getting an awesome little mini Nubian because he is going to be very people friendly. He's going to get too big to sit on your lap, though. He's going to be like a dog. You know, an 80-pound dog wants to sit on your lap. That's going to be snickerdoodle. But as you can see, everything's going good. The girls are all doing good. You see all the limbs broken into their pen. That's so that they get these, these greens here. We're breaking them down and putting them in so they have greens every day. Someone's getting ready for a nappy. Mama checks on him. See, she's kissing him. Oh, she's such a good mama. We haven't tried milking her. So we haven't done that yet. My big thing is getting a, a way of trimming hooves because these guys haven't been handled. So their hooves need to be trimmed and I just can't handle them. They're still too big for me with my back. This little one I was able to hers the other day. So she's been done a several times now since we have her. She's tiny enough that I can actually muscle her around if I need to. But she actually doesn't fight me too much on it. And the more you do it, the more they acclimate to it. And they can be trained just like a dog. They're very intelligent. At night when it's time for us to put Oreo away, we just take her by the collar, we walk her towards her shed, and she goes right in for us. And then we put Snickerdoodle in and we close the door on it for the night. So, But with the warm weather coming in and he's getting bigger, and he hasn't gotten out of the fence at all, which was one of our biggest concerns, um, I think he's going to be safe to be in there with her at night. And part of the reason we're still containing him at night is because these guys like to sleep out in the open. So they'll actually sleep up here in this corner. And we just felt he was too small to be doing that. And we want him where he's going to be a little secured from predation. And from if the temperatures would drop at night, at least in the shed he's not going to be exposed to the wind and weather and rain that kind of stuff so <laughs> look at Ori latte latte you're getting big girl you're gonna have babies huh you're gonna have some babies yeah her right side you see that bulge on her right side guy her right side to us is over here and she's got a nice bulge going on 
she's definitely gotten rounder and she still has two months to go so hopefully cross my fingers multiples the guineas are all free ranging you see one up there and we got frosty in here frosty looks like she's getting rooster feathers guys <sighs> We were really hoping for all these colored eggs, and now we got roosters. So. All right, guys. That is the goat update. But, yeah, they're doing fantastic, and little guy's doing really good. We're real happy with, the, with our decision to get goats and breed goats because we are so enjoying having the little baby around. All right, guys, y'all take care. God bless. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Have a great day.